Say something. Anything. So you two are... Yeah. yeah. And have you had... No. No, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> but if I hadn't walked in here, would you... Probably... No. No. <laughs> Ross, this is not how we wanted you to find out about this. You have every right to go nuts. I'm not going nuts. Do you see me going nuts? No, but you know what I mean. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you two are happy, then I'm happy for you. I'm fine. <laughs> really? Absolutely. I'm fine. <laughs> Totally fine. I, I don't know why it's coming out all loud and squeaky, because really, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not saying I wasn't a little surprised <laughs> to <laughs> see you guys kissing. I mean, at first, I was like, ah! <laughs> but now that I've had time to absorb it, loving this, <laughs> Ross. It's all working out. <laughs> Me and Charlie and you two. <laughs> you know what we should do? Calm ourselves? <laughs> no. <laughs> we should all have dinner. Yes, we'll do it tomorrow night. I'll cook! Uh, uh, look, don't, don't you think that'll be a little weird? Weird? What? What's weird? Uh, the only thing weird would be if someone didn't like Mexican food because I'm making fajitas! <laughs> To Rachel and Joey. Oh, I... <laughs> and to, to love. <laughs> ah, love. <laughs> L-O-V-E, love. L is for, for life. What is life with, without love? Oh, my God, are we supposed to answer? <laughs> o is for... Oh, wow! <laughs> the V is for this very surprising turn of events. <laughs> which I am still fine with, by the way. E! <laughs> is for how extremely normal I find it. it that you two are together. All right, Mr. Geller, right this way. <laughs> so, how dark do you want to be? We have one, two, or three. Well, uh, I like how you look. What are you? Puerto Rican. Two. I think a two. <laughs> You're going to face the red light. When the red light goes on, the spring's about to start, so close your eyes. When the spring stops, count to five. Pat yourself down to avoid drip marks, then turn around so we can get your back. You got it? Spray, count, pat, and turn. Spray, count, and pat. Wow, you catch on quick. Well, I have a PhD, so... <laughs> <laughs> One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I'm, I'm not finished shouting! <laughs> you sprayed my front twice! You never turned? No, I barely even got to three Mississippi. Mississippi? I <laughs> said count to five. <laughs> Mississippi, Leslie? <laughs> Well, how, how bad is it? Not that bad yet, but it keeps getting darker for the next four hours. So how dark is it gonna get? Oh, you got sprayed with two twos and... I'm a four? Yeah, but your back's a zero. You're gonna want to even that out. Really? You might want to get back in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, wait a minute.
that there's no light on the back wall. Uh, how do I know when it's going to start? Hello? You got two more tools? I'm an eight! <laughs> uh, hold on. There's something different. I went to that tanning place your wife suggested. Was that place the sun? And it gets worse. Oh, my God, you can do a duet of ebony and ivory all by yourself. How could you mess this up? It's so easy. You go into the booth, you count to five, and you turn around. How do you count to five? One, two, three. Damn it! <laughs> I know! <laughs> how this works. You go into the booth and you I'm face the I'm gonna stop you right there, Glenda. Okay. <laughs> Does it look like this is my first time? Huh? Now I want four twos and I want them all on my back. Okay. Wait a minute, there's two sets of nozzles. Which one is it? Which, 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 which one is it? Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Dude, it's Chandler, let me in. Go away. <laughs> I don't want to see anybody. I know, I went to the tanning place and the same thing happened to me. You have to let me in. Really? Did you count Mississippi? <laughs> you, you're not tan? No. I just had to get a picture of this. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi, Ross. Ross. Hi, Emma. Hi. Oh, why is she wearing her hat so low? Oh. She can barely see. I don't really want her to see. <laughs> Why, why not? It's, well, because there's so many terrible sights in this world. Like war. Or that thing in Joey's refrigerator, remember? It was in a milk carton, but it, it looked like meat. <laughs> come here, come oh, here. Oh, there she is. Hi. What? Nothing. <laughs> Hi. Tell me those are clip-ons? Oh, they're real. Did she do this to her? I told you we shouldn't have left Emma with her. I know, I know, and you were right, Ross, okay? You are so irresponsible. I am never letting you babysit ever again. Hey, you know what? This kid needs me, okay? She needs to have a cool, fun aunt. I'm a cool, fun aunt. Okay. <laughs> hey, Monica can be cool and fun at organized indoor projects. <laughs> I can't believe this. All I wanted to do was help you try to figure out what to do with your life, and this is how you repay me? Well, I don't need you to help me because I already know what I'm going to do with my life. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Since when? Since today. Uh. I am going to be a baby stylist. <laughs> what? That's not a thing! <laughs> well, it should be. I'm going to help babies learn how to accessorize, what colors to wear, what clothes are slimming. Babies don't care if they're slim! Enter Amy. Amy, I, ju I just, I just want to... What? What are you going to do? No more falafel for you! <laughs> Is it me, 
selection committee has chosen the three of you as our finalists today. The ultimate decision will be based upon the answers you give to the questions I ask here. We're going to start with Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee, you claim the field is too reliant on the Linnaean taxonomic system. How do you propose to correct this problem? Well, I believe that the answers lie in the osteological evidence. I plan to begin there. Interesting. I guess. <laughs> Dr. Biley, your proposal includes some field work. Where might that take place? Primarily in the Pierce Shale region of South Dakota. Certainly. Very well. And Dr. Geller, when is my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I... Care to venture a guess? <laughs> May 12th? That's not even kind of close. <laughs> Dr. Lee, how many graduate students will you be needing? Half a dozen. I see. And Dr. Biley? Three for excavation and two for analysis. Certainly. Dr. Geller, which 1965 Shirelles hit was later covered by a popular British invasion band? <laughs> what? I need six graduate students. No, I'm sorry. We were looking for Baby It's You. <laughs> Baby, it's you. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 just a minute. None of my questions have anything to do with paleontology. You're right, I apologize. Scratch the last question. Spell Bosco Dictiosaur. <laughs> um, I've never heard of a Bosco Dictiosaur. Yeah, I just made it up. Spell it. <laughs> okay. B O. No, it starts with a silent M. Oh, come on! <laughs> Your ex-boyfriend is insane. <laughs> Did you get the grant? No, I didn't. And you want to know why? Because your ex-boyfriend is still in love with you. What? Yeah, he wouldn't give me the grant because I wouldn't give you up. Benji isn't in love with me. I mean, he broke up with me. And besides, he's a very ethical man. Really? <laughs> is it ethical to ask someone in a grant review who was the voice of underdog? <laughs> I'm sure he was just joking, Ross. If you don't believe me, let's go talk to him, OK? I'm telling you, he didn't ask me one paleontological question. Seriously? No, oh, I'm sorry. No, he did ask me one. Uh, how do you spell Bosco Dictiosaur? Well, if it's like the Lake Bosco in Congo, then M B. Damn it! <laughs> Dr. Geller? Charlie, what are, you, what are you doing here? I want you to tell her everything about the deal you tried to make with me, about the, the crazy questions you... Wally Cox. That's the voice of underdog. Like I tried to tell you in the interview, Ross, this grant is not based on your knowledge of pretty useless trivia. No, 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 don't do that. I want you to look her in the eyes and tell her the truth. Benji? All right, it's true. I behaved horribly, but it's only because I still love you. And I would do anything to have you back in my life. Too little, too late, Benji. I can't believe this. I never should have broken up with you. I think about you all the time. I mean, do you ever still think about me? No. Yes. What? I don't know what to say, Benji. This is all so romantic. Or... <laughs> Listen, I know I may be way out of bounds here, but is there any chance you would take me back? Maybe. Sweetie, this conversation's starting to make me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, God. I am so sorry, but... I mean, it's... There's so much history between us, you know? I'm sorry, too. <laughs> I, I love you. I love you, too. <sighs> OK, that's it. We are seeing other people. <laughs> Weddings are like a $40 billion a year industry. Yeah, and I'm responsible for just like half of that. <laughs> well, I've got to say, you guys, that's, that's an incredible gesture. Maybe you do that next time you get married. <laughs>
No, no, no. The next time is going to be Hawaii at sunset. But maybe the time after that. All right, what are we going to say? Oh, we'll say that we were mugged. You can't get mad at someone who's been mugged. Oh, good. That's good. But yeah. you don't look like you were mugged. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. You guys, we're sorry. Our, our subway broke down. That's a lie. You went to the game. I can see Joey's hand. For the love of God, take it off! <laughs> so, what do you think? I think we're not wearing the same shirt anymore. Yeah. Yeah, Rachel picked it out for me. She told me to trust her, and you know what? I'm glad I did. I turned quite a few heads on my way over here. Dude, I really don't think you should be wearing that. Oh, I see. Somebody's afraid of a little competition with the ladies. Looks like someone is the ladies. You're just jealous because you couldn't pull this off. Yeah, now if you'll excuse me, I have a date. See? All eyes on me! Wow, this place looks great. Oh, you are gonna love it. And I'm so glad we're finally doing this. Me too. Here. So this was fun. is amazing. Mm. Oh my God, get a room. Mm. I would get a room with this cake. I think I could show this cake a good time. <laughs> if you had to, what would you give up? Food or sex? Sex? Seriously, answer faster. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. No, when she said sex, I wasn't thinking about sex with you. <laughs> it's like a giant hug. Ross, how about you? Which would you give up, sex or food? Food. Okay, how about um, sex or dinosaurs? <laughs> oh my God, it's like Sophie's choice. <laughs> what about you, Joe? What would you give up, sex or food? Uh, uh... I don't know, it's too hard. <laughs> no, you gotta pick one. Uh, food. No, sex. Food. Sex. Food. Se I don't know. Oh, God, I want both. I want... I want girls on bread. Hey, where's Rachel? She and Phoebe took the stripper to the hospital. <laughs> Did you know Chandler kissed Rachel? What? When, when was this? 1987. The weekend you guys visited me at school. Oh, my God. God, that's wild. Yeah, but it was like a million years ago, so it doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me. Why? Because the night you kissed Rachel was the night I kissed Rachel for the very first time. You kissed her that night, too? <laughs> Two guys in one night? Oh, I thought she became a slut after she got her nose fixed. <laughs> Seriously, where did this happen? Okay, after you told me she was passed out in our room, I went in there to make sure she was all right. She was lying on my bed, uh, all buried in people's coats. Well, I, I went to kiss her on the forehead, you know, but it was so dark, I accidentally got her lips. I, I started to pull away, but then I, I felt her start to kiss me back. It was only for a second, but it was amazing. And now, now I find out that you kissed her first. Oh, wait, what bed did you say she was on? Mine. I'm pretty sure I put her on my bed. No, she was definitely on my bed. Why would I kiss a girl and then put her on your bed? <laughs> Well, then who was on my bed? Oh, oh, oh! No, no, no! Yes. You were under the pile of coats? I was the pile of coats! Oh, my God! You were my midnight mystery kisser! You were my...
my first kiss with Rachel? You were my first kiss ever? What did I marry into? <gasps> my God, you're breathtaking. What do you want? You haven't by any chance chosen a groomsman yet, have you? Oh, Ross, come on. Please don't make this harder than it already is. I'm not. I'm making it easier. Pick me. Oh. Well, Chandler said that it's really important to him, too. I'm sorry. Did you and Chandler go out? Do you and Chandler have a huge history? Huh? Do you and Chandler have, have a child together? If I said yes, that would totally freak you out, wouldn't it? Listen, listen. Whoever you pick is going to walk down the aisle with you. Now, I promise I won't say a word, but if you pick Chandler, he's going to be whispering stupid jokes in your ear the whole time. Oh, you are the lesser of two evils. Yes! Um, please, don't say anything to Chandler until I talk to him. You got it. Okay. I cannot believe you played the Emma card. Oh, please. I was prepared to offer you my body. Oh, my God! And I didn't hold out! <laughs> You know, normally that would hurt my feelings, but today I'm a groomsman! <laughs> oh, hi! Hi! Thanks for showing up 30 minutes late. Ross... No, 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 I'm sure you have a great excuse. What, what was it, a hair appointment? A, a mani-pedi? Oh, was there a sale at Barney's? <laughs> my father had a heart attack. While I was at Barney's? <laughs> Oh my God, Honey. Rach! I'm so sorry. Uh, is, is he okay? Yeah, they said he's gonna be fine, but he's still heavily sedated. Okay, okay, I'm gonna come out to Long Island with you. I mean, you you can't be alone right now. No, come on, I'm totally okay. I don't need you to come. I can totally handle this on my own. Still, still, let me come for me. <laughs> okay, you really need to. I bet someone could use one of Monica's freshly baked cookies. <gasps> oh, I really could. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, um, uh, excuse me. I'm here to see my father. My name is Rachel Green. And I'm Dr. Ross Geller. Ross, please, this is a hospital, okay? That actually means something here. <laughs> can someone please go in? Absolutely. Rachel, I think I'm gonna oh. wait out here because uh, my throat is feeling a little scratchy. I, I don't want to infect him. Ross, please, don't be so scared of him. I am not scared of him. I'm really sick. He's under sedation, so he's pretty much out. I'm feeling better. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh, wow. That ear and nose hair trimmer I got him was just money down the drain, huh? <laughs> Miss Green, your father's doctor's on the phone if you'd like to speak to him. Oh, great. Um, are you going to be okay? He's unconscious. I think we'll be just fine. Okay. <laughs> TV wake you? No. When you put your feet up on my bed, you tugged on my catheter. <laughs> Ouchie. <laughs> what are you doing here, Geller? Well, I came with Rachel, who, who should be back any second. So what's new? Oh, I had a little heart attack. <laughs> right, is, is it painful? What, the heart attack is sitting here talking to you. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that Rachel back in here. So what's new with you, girl? Knocked up any more of my daughters lately? Nope, just the one, Rach! <laughs>